He says, Mr. Buffett, you're well known for saying to be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. But by all appearances, Berkshire was fearful when others were mo most fearful in the early months of COVID. Dumping airline stocks at or near the low, not taking advantage of the fear of gripping the market to buy shares of public companies at exceptional discounts, and being hesitant to buy back significant amounts of Berkshire stock at very attractive prices. I'd appreciate hearing your thoughts surrounding this time and how Berkshire approached its decision making, specifically after it was assured through the CARES Act that the government would provide a robust backstop to the financial markets. Well, of course, until they, until both monetary and fiscal policy kicked in, uh, well, you knew we had an incredible problem. And that our, I am... As just as Charlie is the chief culture officer, I'm I'm the chief chief risk officer of Berkshire. That's that's my job. That uh, uh, we hope we do well, but we want to be sure we don't do terribly. Uh, but we didn't sell a uh, substantial amount. I mean, we, we're a company with six, probably seven hundred billion dollars worth of business. Some we own in, in their entirety. Some we own a, a piece of and. I don't know whether we were sellers of maybe 1% of, of the value of all the businesses we had at that period. But the airline, it's just kind of interesting with the airline businesses in particular, and then I'll get to what was done in fiscal monetary policy. But we had a few people, various subsidiaries of Berkshire, that wanted to go in for help from the government. And uh, uh, in some cases, they had minority shareholders owned a few percent and they said well this you know we're going to get killed by what's happening uh when uh, uh with the regulations that are being put out and then we're stopping the economy and and they said everybody's going in for them and why don't we go in i said uh you know <laughs> berkshire can handle it this is for people that can't handle what's happening and we so we're not applying to but the airlines were the most prominent Beneficiaries of of uh, of what took place immediately. They got 25 billion uh, initially, most of which went to the big four airlines, and some of which went in as grants, not not loans. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, I, I I think that was fine public policy. I think it I was wishing it could go to every restaurant and dry cleaner and every small business that really was out of business and had no no. I mean, they they were they were they were they were made toast of, you know, basically. Uh, but the airlines, clearly what happened was not their fault in any way, shape, or form. It wasn't like 2008 and 2009 when people blamed the banks and hated to see them help. So it was, now airlines operate in bankruptcy. So it isn't like that uh, three of the four big ones you know, went through bankruptcy and within the previous ten or fifteen. So the airlines were kind of used to operating in bankruptcy. They would have kept operating, but it was perfectly proper for the airlines to be Health, the entire airline business. You know, you look at these figures of two trillion for Apple and so on. The entire big four airlines, they were they sold for about a hundred billion dollars, almost. I mean, it's it's a very very small combined. They wouldn't come close to making the the cut. I mean, they wouldn't be in the top fifty. Uh, so anyway, uh, they went into the government. They needed a government help, or they needed, or they could would go bankrupt. Some of them, and. Uh, and uh, uh, really the Congress, but Steve Mnuchin too, uh, that they decided they deserved the help, which I, I, I do not quarrel with at all. But imagine if Berkshire was the 10% holder, which they had been of everyone in the airlines, they said, let's take it up in Berkshire. <laughs> I mean, it's, it'd be like one of our, uh, they would have had, they might have very well had a very, very, very different result if they'd had a very, very, very rich shareholder that owned eight or nine percent that uh and they didn't have that uh you know when they went in <laughs> so our you might not have gotten the same result in fact i would i would think you probably wouldn't i mean i can just see the headlines now i mean they you know because you've seen the headlines on some companies that took a hundred million or two you know and really didn't need it and some of them gave it back and most of them gave it back uh but you were look you're actually looking at it probably a different result than if we'd kept our stock. But in any event, an industry that was really selling for less than $100 billion uh, lost uh, significant 
amount of money. They lost perspective earning power. I mean, right now, they're, you know, international travel's not come back. But I would say overall, too, the, the economic recovery has gone far better than you could say with any assurance. So we, uh, we didn't like having as much money as we had in banks at that time. So I, I cut back some of the bank investment. But basically, our net sales were about 1% or 1.5%. And, and looking back, you know, it would have been better, better to be buying. But, but I do not consider it. I do not consider it a great moment in Berkshire's history, but I also don't. Uh, we've got more net worth than any any company in the United States under accounting principles, and we've got we've got six or seven hundred billion of generally good businesses, and uh, and uh, I think as I think I think the airline business has done better because we've sold, and I wish them well. But I still uh, I still wouldn't want to buy the <laughs> buy the airline business international. People really want to—they want to travel uh, for personal reasons, and, and uh, uh, business travel is, is a tougher thing. And we've got a big exposure to business travel, of course, through the fact that we own 19% of American Express, and we own Precision Cast Parts, which services the the our business very different. So we've we've still got a big investment in uh, air travel, uh, a big commitment to it, but but. Uh, we wish the big four the best, and, and I think their managements have done a very good job during this period.